Welcome back everyone. Today I am going to be showing you how to properly set up a Facebook or Instagram ad that then leads to a messenger bot. Now I'm Joe, I'm with Dana and Joe we are a uh, photography education brand but we also run the booking lab uh, which is a free Facebook group where I teach all of this and more. Uh, come over and join us. Uh, we have a great community over there. But more importantly, if you have follow-up questions to anything like this video, or you want to learn even uh, get more into the details and learn about Messenger bots, then come on over. It's a great place to start. Oh, and of course, if you don't mind, give us a subscribe. All right, so you never miss another video, right? So <clears throat> this is part, I believe, part four uh, in a five-part series for messenger bots. So uh, up to this point, I kind of chatted about what is a messenger bot, why should you even care about it uh, when it comes to messenger marketing. Um, and then I also got into how to make a messenger bot, how to get your account set up and create a basic messenger bot uh, in less than 30 minutes, literally in less than 30 minutes. So assuming that you're now at the point where you have an understanding of messenger bots, a little bit how they work, why they're important, uh, what we're going to do is then go into uh, basically creating a ad with a messenger bot, right? So if you haven't created your bot yet, you may want to go back to the previous video. Literally, it's a 20-minute video, but honestly, uh, most of it is me uh, showing some other stuff. But then you can get back into it and create something basic in literally 15, 20 minutes max, right? Uh, but today, for all my ad users, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Now... There is a right way to do it, and there's some out there who are doing it a different way. It's just, this is the best way, I promise you. So, <clears throat> let's share the screen and get into it. Okay, so what you're going to do is let's get into the Ads Manager first. So, inside the Ads Manager, you are going to uh, create what is called a Messages Ad. Uh, so, this is, um, so if I were to click Create, come down here you got the objectives here I'm gonna click messages objective now just for the sake of time I already have an ad that I have set up in Iran so that's the one that I'm gonna be showing uh, so I did what is called I did a timeline campaign so basically what this ad was is they answered two questions and then they would receive a customized timeline so inside my messenger bot and then I would grow my list so if you come down here, uh, as you'll see, the objective is messages. You're going to set up your targeting just like you would. Uh, that makes sense for you. Uh, set your daily budget. Uh, I was actually marketing to my, uh, I excluded my email list. I was going after engaged couples. I did Instagram and Facebook news feed. Uh, mobile devices, of course. Um, so I wanted replies. I optimized for replies, which is the default setting. <clears throat> so you'll see as, as you set up the ad, it's nothing different than anything else, right? So um, everything up to this point, you would just set it up just like you would any other type of ad. <clears throat> Come down here, you're going to put your headline. You're going to put um, your text. Make sure your pixel's ready to go. Put, you know, get your photos loaded up. So up to this point, like I said, nothing out of the ordinary, right? So mine was wondering what the best ceremony time is for those dreamy golden hour photos or just can't stop drifting off to envision how your special day will unfold. We have you covered. Take a two-question quiz, side Facebook Messenger, and receive a custom downloadable wedding day timeline template to use as a reference for planning your perfect day. Um, you will be learn. Oh, boy. I hope I didn't run the ad with that in there. Tap learn more to start the quiz in Facebook Messenger. So basically, I've given them a strong call to action. I'm letting them know what they're going to be able to get, right? So this is just something I did. You could use you could use this to anything. Hey, curious what my prices are or want to see what my availability is? Click learn more and I'll, I'll deliver it to you in Messenger, right? you got to think of a Facebook Messenger and a Facebook Messenger chatbot as a delivery system, right? When you can get yourself in that mindset, then you can get really creative as to what kind of ad you want to run. So what can I deliver to people instantaneously that they would find valuable, right? Pricing, availability, uh, guides, uh, pictures, you know, uh, portfolios. Um, hey, what kind of bride are you? What kind of 
wedding venue based on your personality type, right? So um, you can keep it fun and lighthearted, right? And the whole purpose of this is to connect your messenger bot so that you can build a subscriber list because the purpose behind a subscriber list is, and why this is advantageous over anything else is, they don't have to fill out a lead form. Um, they don't have to give me their email. They literally do one click of a button. They're inside my messenger bot. I can see who they are as people. I can stalk them a little bit, and then I can sit there and start a conversation with them with 70% or more open rate versus them giving me their email, uh, which the conversion rate is even lower, or then filling out a lead, lead form, which the conversion rate is even lower. And then I have to depend on them answering their email or picking up their call, right? So lots of advantages here. So what you'll do is you'll come down here and you're going to do messenger setup. So um, we'll just say, you know, create new. <clears throat> There's a bunch of things here. Generate leads is a new new thing that they're doing. Um, advanced JSON setup, right? So basically what I want to do is I want to start a new conversation. Now I'm going to click edit. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to set this up. So, <clears throat> so you're going to have some greeting text here and then it's going to have some customer actions. Um, what you're going to do is where it says frequently asked questions, you're going to tap this and you're going to do quick replies. And then you're going to say, I don't know why this preview is already down here. <clears throat> you're going to basically put in what you think is a good keyword. So, you know, I'm going to put um, start because mine's a quiz. I'm going to put start quiz, right? So if you come down here, it says start quiz. It says, hi, Joe. Thank you for showing interest in the timeline quiz. Tap start quiz to begin. All right. So what's going to happen is they're going to click learn more. So learn more in my ad. It's going to take them over. They're going to see this. It's going to say, hi, whatever their name is. Thank you for showing interest in timeline quiz. Tap start quiz to begin. At this point, they are not a messenger bot subscriber, right? So they have to tap start quiz in order to become a subscriber in your messenger bot. So you have to give them a reason to tap on this. Um, so that's why I love quick replies. If you do if you do anything else, it doesn't work as well, right? So this is what you want to do. You want to do a quick reply, and you want to tell them exactly what to do in the next step. So in this case, since I'm doing a quiz, it's, hey, start your quiz, right? So tap start quiz to begin. Um, so they're going to come down here. They're going to see this in Messenger. They're going to click start quiz. Now, if you wanted to get a little fancy, you can actually add uh, text and image. So you can actually add an image here, all right? Um, you could also add a video, right? So if you're doing something and you want to get a little fancy, record a quick video. I always hands down am pro video because it shows personality. Just a little extra pro tip. Um, but test this stuff out. See if it works. Just be aware that whenever you add anything other than text like video or images, you got to be aware of the load speed, right? So you want to optimize that video. You want to optimize that image and make sure it's as small as possible. I use things like Blogstomp. Blogstomp will get my um, will get the image down much smaller, and then I can also use iMovie to make the video smaller as well. Um, if you're a Mac user, I understand not everyone's a Mac user. I get it. It's all good. All right. So in this circumstance, I'm just going to use text, right? So I'm going to hit save and finish. Oh, before I do that, make sure you save this um, do timeline quiz. And I always put a date on it. October 2019. All right, timeline quiz, October 2019. All right, save and finish. That's just so when I reference it later, I know what I'm doing. So that is now set, right? So if I click this, it's going to do that little thing. So I am done as far as Facebook goes. My ad is completely set up. Um, I got my messenger cam objective campaign. Um, and then in here, I did my audience and placement. I want to come back here real quick and show you real quick something real quick. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> um, you'll see that I literally uncheck everything and I just do uh, Facebook newsfeed. 
I don't have a ton of success on Instagram, but it's worth trying. But I leave Instagram alone. <clears throat> um, you know, I'll test it. I'll kind of see how it goes, and then that'll be the first thing I turn off. But Facebook newsfeed, hands down, is king. I turn off all this other junk and nonsense, even the stories. Um, it's going to yell at you and say, hey, are you sure you don't want Messenger inbox? Yes, I don't want Messenger inbox, I promise. Um, so just do If you want to test these other things out and you have a little bit larger budget, go for it. But these are what I found to be the most successful. Okay, now, <clears throat> everything is set up on the Facebook side, so we're done. So if I hit publish, I am ready to rock. But how do I get them in my Messenger bot, Joe? Like, you told them to click a button, then what happens, right? So that's where ManyChat comes into play. So if you come over to your ManyChat account, if you haven't already set it up, go back, watch my other video where I literally show you how to set up and get started with your Messenger bot, aka ManyChat account, in less than 20 minutes. <clears throat> so you're going to click Automation tab here on the left-hand side. You're going to come down where it says, uh, what is it, Keywords. Remember that keyword that I told you where it says Start Quiz. So I already have this set up. <clears throat> Let's say you didn't have this set up. You're going to come in New Rule. And you're going to type the keyword down here, Start Quiz. All right. Create the keyword. Now the keyword is just set. You need an action associated with that keyword. So it's just right now you're just telling ManyChat, hey, there's a keyword out there I'm looking for um, somebody to send. But ManyChat doesn't know what to do when someone taps that keyword. So what you're going to do is either create a new reply or select an existing message. So <clears throat> uh, I'm not going to get real big in depth into messaging, how to build messages in this video. But let's say you already had a message built. So I could click this. It's going to show me all my messages that I have in here. And I'm going to type in um, timeline because I already built this. So timeline quiz. So if I tap that and I click select this flow, boom. So someone clicks start quiz. It's going to send that, that timeline quiz message. Now, since I already have it set up, I'm going to delete this. Confirm. All right, <clears throat> so if I were to hit play on my ad, I am 100% ready to rock. So what's going to happen is they're going to click learn more. They're then going to <clears throat> get the preview message. All right, so if I come over to Facebook, you're going to see that it takes forever to load. Hi Joe, thank you for showing interest. Um, so this isn't going to work because I deleted the previous conversation, right? So this isn't going to work because it's a preview. But essentially what's going to happen is it's going to say start quiz right here. I'm going to click start quiz. And then it's going to fire off this message, where is timeline quiz. So, so I do this. All right. So before I get into that flow, I just want to say, if I hit play right now, this would absolutely work. Learn more. Hey, Joe. Thanks for showing interest. Click start quiz. I click start quiz. They are then going to get the timeline quiz message. And then they're going to go through that, and they're going to get the timeline download. All right? Done. Right? Now, that is how you set up a Facebook Messenger ad properly. A lot of times what I'm seeing is folks come in here, and what they're doing is uh, <clears throat> when they create new, they're doing the JSON setup. It doesn't work as well. It's buggy. It doesn't always fire off. Um, generate leads, I honestly haven't explored yet. This is something new that Facebook came out with last month. Actually, the end of August, they came out with this lead generation. So I haven't I haven't started with this yet, but I want people to become subscribers of my Messenger bot, and I want to be able to send them whatever I want. So I want them not Facebook owned. I mean, they're always Facebook owned, but I want them inside my ManyChat account, right? So the best way for me to do that is essentially is to create these conversations where um, I'm using them as a keyword that then sends them into my messenger bot. And you, you saw how I did that. So they click learn more, they get that initial message. Right now they're all on Facebook, 
as soon as they click that start quiz, they're still in Facebook Messenger, but now they're a subscriber in my Messenger bot list, right? So I just want to keep reiterate that just so that it's 100% super clear because I get a lot of questions on that, okay? So now they're a subscriber, my ad's humming along, and what I'm going to start to see in my many chat is I'll start to see that my audience is growing. I'll start to see my audience grow, so I'll start getting more subscribers is what we want. And then I can start engaging in conversation with them, asking them, hey, you know, I saw you downloaded my timeline template. You know, tell me about your wedding day, where you're at in planning. Here's some other resources that I can provide for you. And you can actually start to have a conversation with them. Now, you can get a little advanced and you can actually automate that follow-up, right? So you can say, hey, 12 hours later, I want you to send my preferred vendor's guide. Hey, 12 hours later, I want, or one or two days later, I want you to send... Um, some pricing information, probably too soon, I would recommend later, but maybe 24 to 48 hours later, you're sending over them a helpful blog post, right? <clears throat> so you can automate that, and what you're doing is you're nurturing these leads without you doing anything, which is absolutely beautiful, and you're doing it all inside Facebook Messenger. Oh, by the way, you're getting 70% open rates versus email, which is anywhere from 15 to 30 at best, okay? All right. So I wanted to make that clear because what I was about to do is go into this automation keywords and I was actually going to show you what this message looks like. Um, so if I come in here and I go to Flow Builder, you're going to see this is a little messy. So if you've never seen anything like this before, it can look scary, right? <clears throat> but essentially what's happening here is I'm saying, hey, you know, once they click that start quiz, this is the message they get. It says, question one or two, Joe, are you going to do a first look? Yes. Question two, choose a ceremony start time. Don't see your time. Choose one that's close as yours. Don't have a time yet. Blah, 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 blah. Find the sunset time. They click this. It then comes over. Let's say they chose 3.30 p.m. It comes over here. I give them a link to my Instagram, and then they get this downloadable PDF. It doesn't look like this. It actually looks good. I created this in Canva. I loaded this up in ManyChat. They get this instantaneous, and it literally gives them a custom timeline template based off of the two options that they picked. So you can see how that works. It's instantaneous, it's fun, it's interactive, and it gives them something valuable um, that's relevant to wedding planning. So I just wanted to kind of show the flow of that message and what that looks like. I don't want to get into the details of how to create this flow. If you are interested in that flow, come on over to the Facebook group and I'd be happy to share that with you. It's very easy to share flows between accounts. <clears throat> so if you're interested in that, come to the Booking Lab. It's a free Facebook group. I do also have a, um, um, excuse me, a Messenger Bot course where you can literally download all of my Messenger Bot templates so you don't have to build any of this. So I actually have a master photography template uh, and then I also have the timeline template and then what you do is you purchase the course and then you can go in there uh, You click the link and you can download it into your many chat account Additionally, I go into super in-depth on how to create flows how to set up ads um, A lot of other ninja tricks that you can do with messenger bot. So all the links are in the description below So make sure you check those out And you know if you got questions hit me up um, completely transparent, love to answer those questions, but more importantly, I would love to have you over into the, the Facebook group inside of that community. Um, so it's, again, it's called The Booking Lab. Go ahead and hit subscribe if you like this video and the content. Uh, I have another video coming showing you how to, no kidding, get leads using the Messenger bot off of Facebook. So your website, social media profiles. Um, I showed you ads in this one, but also in person using QR codes. Mind-blowing stuff, all right? So make sure you tune in that next video. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, hunt me down if you got questions. I look forward to seeing you around and in the community. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.